your time with a book starts on the very first page, right? But the story of a book goes back way before that. This week on Book Break, I'm going to show you how. So the author has an idea. Don't ask me how, that's the magic of authors. JK Rowling gets them on trains, Ransom Riggs gets them from old photographs, and Ray Celestin gets them from real life crimes committed in times of old. But that's just an idea. Hopefully if the author is an author and not just a person with ideas, they'll write them down. This is called a manuscript. The manuscript is sent by the author to agents. An agent will assess whether the book is something other people might like, and if a publishing house might be interested in buying the rights to publish it. Then come the editors, usually attached to a publishing house. They will read the manuscript and if they like it, they'll take it back to the rest of the publishing house and rave about it until everyone else loves it too. If the sales team agree it will sell and the communications team agree that the media might like it too, and everyone agrees that readers will like it, most importantly, the editor buys the rights to the book. The editor works closely with the author to make the book the best it can be, and meanwhile, in lots of other corners of the publishing house, designers are busy designing covers, publicists are busy telling reviewers, festivals, magazines about the book, marketers are building marketing campaigns, designing ads and working out where they should go, crafting promotional trailers, the sales team are telling bookshops about the book, getting them to order up copies early. In the run-up to publication date, the office is a flurry of activity. Everyone's plans are finally coming together and the whole team is gearing up to tell as many people as possible about the new book. And eventually, after lots of hard work, the books are printed. Then the books are driven and shipped and are packed into shops and sold to the world. Hopefully, you'll wander into a shop and see that book and take it home and open the first page and, well, you get the idea. Thank you.